I'll explain everything at the end of this episode, but I want to make it really clear I'm not reopening the P.O. Box. I am not restarting Mail Time. This is a very special episode. <laughs> You've got mail. Hey, little buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> so, today, well, first of all, we got the couch Captain Cup. We got all the fellas. And we got this fella. Hey, -o. I got to keep it down because it's morning time. And uh, fur is fur. And I don't want to be Right? You follow me. So let's see here. I got my handy dandy. And I got my handy dandy. Put into the box. Not Tejo. Hey Tejo, fist bumps for Tejo. Right, Rondo? Boom, got it. All right. Now I do know we had to do a little repackage job on the way because apparently the weather got a hold of this box and there was a little section that was wet so I had to get repackaged make sure everything inside was copacetic so let's see here see already in my brain I was like let's slice this open get the goodies and chuck that box right against the wall oh that would be a terrible idea for so many reasons so let's be adult about this Oh, yeah, cut right against your leg, bro. Bozo. Oh, I should have got the sword. Should I? No. Well, I mean, I shouldn't. Will I is the question. I mean, how, how have I not just sliced everything open on me already? Now I do know this package is from Kristen and Dane. Okay. Can you hear it? Oh boy. Okay. Brilliant. See, this is how you know. This is how you know somebody is a mail time veteran, okay? This is pretty good. We've got bubble wrap. Okay, you got to protect stuff. But this is the clue. From Dane, open second. Mm -hmm. See? You never know what I'm going to do. Like, ever. Hell, I don't know. So you got to really make it bozo proof with me. Got more bubble wrap. And from Kristen, open first. See, that's a veteran move. Make sure nothing else is hidden. I think we're good, but I'm not going to wally stomp this box into the ground just yet, just in case. Wally Stomp? Is that a thing? Yeah, it is now. Okay. Okay. So, we've got... Huh? Huh? So loud. Ready? Let's just rip off the band-aid. Okay. This is from Kristen. It says open first, so I'm going to open first. Oof. Why is everything so loud? I feel like I'm not usually this loud. Okay. Oh, it's handwritten. You know how I love that. <sighs> 
Dear Roscoe, we love your channel and enjoy There's one word I can't, I can't crack and enjoy the something you bring. I'm going to say it's joy. I don't think that's right, but I'm going to take that one. It looks like it says E-T-H, the F. Hmm. I'm going to say joy. Oh, it's enthusiasm. She actually... <laughs> Okay, let me start over. Dear Roscoe, we love your channel and enjoy the enthusiasm you bring. Oh, can we please speak to Rogue Roscoe now? Go ahead. We'll wait. This is pretty good. She's referencing like all my stuff, <laughs> all my bozo ness. Thank you for always bringing the unexpected and making your BTS journey all yours and not someone else's. We've enclosed a few gifts from the family. An RM button that we got in Texas at a K-pop store. Highly recommend a visit to, it looks like it says, Errolton? Errolton, Texas. Hmm. And while we know Junie is your favorite, we thought he needed some company, so we sent Jimin to join him on the shelf. And remember, once you Jim in, you can't Jim out. Well, let's see what you got, Kristen, because you know Junie's pretty deep in here. Oh, I didn't even know. Can you see what it is? You probably can't. And I'm glad because I don't want you to get any spoilers yet. Eesh. God. <clears throat> so here's the Juni pin. A little tiny tan version. A little mic drop. See it? Love when the camera does it. It's so satisfying. And here is Mr. Set Me Free. And he's going to go right. You can't see them because it's dark. Right up there. Hold on. Right there are Sugar and I think it's Hobie. And now we got to make for, chim for the chimp chim. Man, look at that suit. Are you kidding? How do you pull that off? Oh, that, don't answer that. I can already sense some of you being saucy. <laughs> oh, the collection continues. <laughs> Rip off the Band-Aid. This one's from Dane. Oh. Everyone, I feel like my life is in danger. Because, you know, Kool-Aid Man can bust and through, break all my shelves. Mm -mm. I feel like there's a better way I could have done this. You think I would have learned this by now? Not because of mail time, but just because of like, I'm a grown up. I mean, I look like a grown up. I should be a grown up. Okay. This is from Dane. Roscoe, thank you for doing this special mail time. I know Kristen is smiling down from heaven. My girls and I wanted to send you a special gift. Kristen and I were lucky enough to catch the guys in Vegas. So, Micah, who's 11, Rayleigh, who is 10, and Rory, who's 4, decided to send you a piece of swag from the show. Thanks, Dane.
Micah, Rayleigh, and Rory. Oh, come on. Oh. Permission to dance on stage. Ooh, what do we have here? Whoa. What is this? Some of you already know. Because you're cheaters. So we have... Let me show you this. This is pretty neat. I haven't seen this yet. So when you open the box... I want you to get the full experience here. We got that. And then you open it. And you have that. But it's... A whole bunch of them. We got the June. Ginny Jin Jin. Minyungi. Jungle Sock. Bang Jimin. Kim Tae Young. Jung Jung Gook. In fan chant order. Don't think I didn't notice. These are beautiful. God, they're quality. Wish my business card had this much quality. No, it's like a it's like a paper bag. I just hand to people. Then with a crayon I go. Call me. Use it on dates too. This is awesome. Swag from the show. Man, I wanted to be at that show. I'm so jealous. Dane and Micah and Rayleigh and Rory and Kristen. Thank you. I love the letters. Love the gifts. I appreciate your kindness, your generosity. And that is, that whole wall behind me is an example of all that. Thank you for being a part of my journey. There really are no words to express how grateful I am. And that's literally why I just went into screensaver mode right there. I'm like trying to think of words. Nothing, nothing I can say. And the best I can do is say thank you. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for the love and support that you've shown me. And I hope in my own weird bozo rogue way, I can continue to bring you joy with the couch crew and with BTS and with everything that we do. Much love. Thank you. Boop. So thank you for watching this very special mail time. Now I want to tell you, just give you some context. I get this email. And this is what the letter says. Hi, buddy. My wife and I have been following your BTS journey from the beginning. We even put together some swag to send you before you accumulated the massive collection that you have. She was diagnosed with cancer last June and unfortunately passed unexpectedly last week. As I was going through her things, sorting what's what, I found a letter that she wrote to you that was to be included in the package of goodies. With your permission, I would like to get your P.O. box and send you the swag and the original letter that she wrote to you. I want to thank you for the unbelievable joy you brought her in a time she didn't have much joy. Thank you for being you. You touch more people than you could realize. Oh, sorry, than you could even imagine. Yours truly, Dane. So what I did, I went to my management, I explained the circumstances, 
and they approved for me to do this. I reached out to Dane. I said, what do you want me to do? You want a special mail time? I can just open it as is, quietly. I can do something private. What do you want to do? And he basically said, she loved mail time. Kristen having her own mail time would be pretty cool. For the, I'm paraphrasing. You get the idea. I said, well, that's what we're going to do. So when I open the package, like I know the circumstances around the package. But I didn't think it was fair to let the circumstances weigh down on Kristen's mail time. She deserved a joyous mail time like everybody else. And that's what I wanted to give her. Now, granted, I probably shouldn't have done it this early in the morning because I... But you get the point. I wanted to explain to everybody why this is happening. Dane, like I told you in the letter, my heart is broken for you, brother. I appreciate you reaching out to me. I wish there was more I could do. And I'll tell you, you know, you sent me the picture of you and the family. And... My heart and my love goes out to you, bro. It's a beautiful family. And I can tell, I mean, even from not just the, the mail time and the letters and the packages, but the picture alone, bro, you just look like a good guy. The big heart. So I'm sure you're a great dad, a great husband good guy and we need more people like you on the couch so i hope you continue to be you and be here with us and don't be so quiet we've been doing this for over a year and this is the first time i've heard your name bro say hello you dust bunnies i tell you what well as always i ramble completely off track but i wanted everybody to understand what this was about this episode is dedicated to Dane and Christian and Micah and Rayleigh and Rory. Love, love, love. I'm sorry you're going through a hard time right now. The best I can offer you is love right back. From me to you, love, love, love. <laughs>